Hello everyone, welcome to The Social Club. We're, it's the summer, so we're doing a more stripped back version of the show. Barry is here with me. We've just had a chat about whatever it needs to do in the transfer window. Check that video out if you haven't done so already. But we thought we'd get stuck into a topic while we're here, Baz. Um, the news kind of came out at the weekend that the so-called Big Six, uh, which is an expression that you love uh, in the Premier League, uh, will look to seek for a renegotiation of how foreign TV rights money is split, effectively meaning that the clubs who are the, the bigger clubs in the Premier League who think of themselves as being the biggest draw will take a bigger share of the pot, which is currently equally split amongst the 20 teams in the Premier League, um, or is done to top up the money they earn from where they finish in, in, in the league. I think it goes without saying that if Everton aren't classed as one of the big six, you'll take massive umbrage with this notion that more money will be going in the pockets of Liverpool, Man United, Man City, uh, Chelsea, etc. It's a quote a ped face. Fuck off! Fucking <laughs> knobheads! Yeah. Um, yeah. That was a really good yeah, impression. Yeah, well, I've been working with him for long enough, mate. Um, obviously, Obviously, yeah. I love the big six. When Everton were like fifth and that in the season, it was the big seven. Yeah. So it's nice that we finished seventh and, and everyone was be able to just use that big six again. Yeah. Like when Scudamore said United have got to be back in that top four and then they got 37 penalties the next year to make sure they do. Um, <laughs> no, no. It, listen, of course, if, if you're trying to split up a league to, to reward teams who think of themselves as the, the biggest in that league, it's got to be opposed because the the deal is there for everybody without without the other fourteen teams. Yeah, there is no league. I think it's the yeah. Well, I think that's the great point. It's interesting that this is why football works and why it works best almost in some regards in this country is is just that. It's this whole those ninety two football clubs and, and having those. It's all dependent. They, they all prop each other up to, to some yeah. regard. There's no point. Let's be honest. People can talk about it all they want, and I agree. Because look, I would love. I'll be honest. It, it's 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 like there's probably like an everyone's in a Tory where you think, well, hang on a second. We're they're big and powerful. Imagine how much more money Liverpool would have if they could do what Barcelona do or what Real Madrid mm. do in Spain and go. Well, we're the we're the reason why everyone watches this. We'll take all we'll take all the money, and I would love there to be less stress. By us just pulling away from everyone else and it not being a concern, but let's let's let be very honest. Let's look for the for the for the good of football. It's shit, isn't it? You know, you, you've got to have how how look. I guess people can talk about. No one likes it when the Monday night football is West Brom versus Stoke or West Brom versus Watford. No one goes, oh, I can't wait to tune in on a Monday night for that. But equally. And how shit would the Premier League be if it was the same seven teams? If you just had seven teams or six teams. Are we in that seven? Let's say seven for the, for the sake of keeping nice you smiling. Man. If you just had those seven teams playing each other, you know, or Scotland. ten teams, you do the school exactly. It's the you know, it's the SPFL, isn't it? That yeah, there'd be loads of it'd be great. Oh, great Man United, Liverpool again. But it would it would eventually that it would the shine would wear off it absolutely. And where's your product? Where's your product at then? Yeah, I thought. You see, the thing is, those big clubs, it's like if I talk to mates of mine who were Reds and they hate Man City, it's unfair, they've got this and he can spend what they want and all, well, this is just another version of that. Yeah. yeah, Man City, it might be unfair that they've got you know sponsorships and they can pay whatever wages and it doesn't matter whatever they do. Liverpool can't do that, and so you feel a little bit aggrieved. Well, it's the same without... See, this used to be the Champions League places, the top four. Sky used to go top four. They were on the Sky four. They were on every year. And it, it enabled them to kind of go to everyone else. Ah, yeah, we're all right. Thanks. You know, and Liverpool were very much part of that yeah, Sky absolutely. four. Because that was when they were always in the top four. And we were fifth. So I know that because we were fifth quite a lot. Us, Aston Villa, Spurs were the next three. Yeah. Um, you know, City weren't even a glint in, in the Sheik's eye at that, you know, <laughs> yeah. at that stage. Um, and there was a disparity there with the way the money was spread and, and you felt it because those top four were in the Champions League so they could get better players so they stayed in the Champions League and yeah. there was a gap appearing. City's money changed. It. Spurs got cute and, and spent well and yeah. sold bail and reinvested and done it really well. And all of a sudden that stretched. You know, and we've come along with a big pile of money yeah. again and, and you said on the other video we've done it if this had been a few years ago we'd have been able to splash that freely yeah. and, and bridge it quite quick but we're not able to because of the restraints of financial fair play and everything else 
So this would just be another way to make a disparity there. So that then takes away what people watch the Premier League for. Yeah. You know, the Premier League isn't technically the best league in the world. It's what's a lot of it. It's crap. A lot of it. If you, you know, if you, if yeah, it is shite. If you're if you for, the love, even, for the love of the game, if you're looking yeah. about the game and all that, a lot of the games are shite. Let's be honest. But it's entertaining. It's entertaining because Crystal Palace, who are nearly get going down, can go to Chelsea, who haven't lost for four months or something, and beat them yeah. at their place. And they're able to do that because they've got this money coming in. So they're able to go to Liverpool and buy Ben Teke yeah. for 30 million or whatever they paid. And he, he comes up big in that game, scores yeah. a goal. And, and it all swashes around. The, the top six or seven or whatever it is, but I'm using the top six because we're only now, because of our new investors, starting to change our sponsors yeah. and get a bit more of that. They get massive amounts of money yeah. from sponsorship anyway. Liverpool have got about 30 partners. Yeah. Fucking face cream advert I have to turn off every two minutes. <laughs> but it, I, for me, it looks like I think it's it's a sign of fear for them because it, according to what we've, we've read, like City and United are the ones leading the push for this. And look, no surprise because you come in, you come in at Man City and you throw money at the problem. And you know, look, they've built the infrastructure. I, I, I like the way they've spent that money because yeah. you got all you got to do is look at the the, the Etihad campus yeah, yeah, as it were yeah. and look at what they're fantastic. building there, and it's yeah. fantastic. But you put, you're throwing all that money in and you're thinking, well, hang on a second, but I'm getting the same amount of, uh, of, of dough here. They want to be there. And Man United, equally, there's, there'll be a fear from them because if Man United, Man United would like it to be a closed shop oh, they because won't. they've been at the top for all these years and now all of a sudden they're reaching the point where they're not at the top anymore. And hang on a second, or it's, it's a low, A, it's, dead, it's more difficult to actually get yourself back in there when the money's at the, at the biggest and it's most competitive. There's probably like a safeguarding thing where the, the, the people at the top of Man United are going, we would really appreciate if we could cash in on the fact that, because Man United are the, 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 the top brand in the Premier League, aren't they? If they could, if they'll yeah. probably be looking at it from a business sense and go, well, we we should be getting more, and they'll be shitting it because what? a few seasons at sixth in the league very much changes people's perspective on things. What happens like if, say for argument's sake, Everton finished fifth next season and Arsenal finish seventh how do, you, how do you then say the big uh, do you know no, no, that's exactly, what I'm no, saying but exactly, yeah. Leicester City came from nowhere two years and won the league yeah. but I Manchester think United the, was sixth this but year but they're the things that these are driven by these guys are not football people they're not people thinking oh the competitiveness of the Premier League they're thinking my job is to make my football club my, the, my you know, to, to succeed by making as much money as possible and as I say they're looking at, look, at, this, look at the sorry Baz look at the well, look at La Liga now, look at how many teams have won the league in the last 20 yeah. years. You go, you have to go back, outside of um, Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico, you're going back to Valencia, Valencia and you're going yeah. back to Deportivo. Mm. And I, I, I can't, I'm not entirely certain that it's been a while since I've looked at this, but I feel Deportivo certainly was before the change in the TV rights deals, so it was slightly more possible. Mm. Whereas since that's come in, there's no, it's no accident so what's that those point? clubs totally dominate yeah. the top end of the league because they get they, they, they become, earn so much more money. It becomes from it. pointless, though. Yeah, it, doesn't it? It, it exactly. totally becomes pointless because what is the, what is the point of having a, a competition that isn't a competition? It's already difficult. You know, the top teams get. I mean, Liverpool just take Liverpool. They were on telly more than anybody else. They finished fourth. Yeah, they were on more than Chelsea with the champions. You know, but. Liverpool, United, Arsenal. I understand that a lot of the subscribers are their fans. I understand it. So you play into the gallery and all that. But they're getting a lot more money from teams they were playing in the same competition. Mm. This goes to a vote. It's 14 6 again. There's yeah. not a chance it's well, getting this past. Is a, Apparently, it's been delayed till September, the vote. And you're right. I, it would take, I think it would take a lot to convince the other teams. This, the only argument is that you're talking about the. Does it? They'll, they'll probably argue the raising the profile of it because if it means that there's more of the there's more those games are getting shown more the big it's the big games being shown in various places then it raises the profile of it, which brings more attention to the Premier League or something. It sounds very it it sounds full of holes to me. If well, there's businessmen coming, I mean we've got a Chinese consortium possibly taking Newcastle over. You know there's people in at West Brom. We've got big business at Everton. Uh, these are businessmen who know it's it's not, it's not happening. It won't just work. taking off your justice for all hat, though for a moment, and just yeah. because 
you look at the problems that Premier League teams face, and I think the the reasons why. Okay, look, Man United and Liverpool both made European finals in the last two seasons, mm. or being in the second tier European competition. We've seen a slight improvement, a little bit in in Europe, but by and large, English teams are struggling to compete at the in the Premier League and on the on the Champions League stage, mm. and you're coming up in the quarters. Or set or whatever, or the sixteen other quarters against Bayern Munich, who don't have a competitive league. You come up against Spanish teams that don't have a competitive league, and even to some extent, not quite as much. There are a few more competitive teams. I think in Serie A, you would want, you know, you would love to be able to be so powerful and dominant that you can compete on both fronts. If if you just put your blinkers on solely for your own, but why your is own that? Club. You're accepted that. Why is European football so important? I don't know those that big ears. Yeah, but that, no, but that's, I think that's a personal thing to Liverpool. But that's but, but, and that's because you sold on this idea from the media that that is the be all and end all of it. And to be fair to Real Madrid, it is they they're more interested in winning the European Cup than than probably La Liga. Yeah. To be honest with you, they get more joy out that. Me is never thrown. Yeah, of course I'd love to win the European Cup, but the Premier League is where we play. Is where we play our football. It's what yeah. you're judged on week in week out. We shouldn't be worrying about perception around Europe. If mm-hmm. that's the case. They need those powerful teams need to get together and do one and go and have well, a European show. Because that will have to. Yeah. The likes of Monaco and PSG in that league, if that's Scotland, they're not going to continue with that money yeah. going in there without anything happening. We've already seen the Russian teams were trying to kick something off. It didn't quite happen. But there's there's money there in France and they're not they're gonna want some kind of yeah. thing for it. I just think th- this happened once before and we were in it. It went from the football league to the Premier League, and Everton were the ones, ironically, were the ones driving it. Yeah. And our wheels fell off when it went to the Premier League. And if we'd have had two more seasons like we had as we were building up to it, we would have been one of the big, we'd have been on the most and earned yeah. the most money and been able to maintain it. But that was a sad day for football because we went from having a football association run league, top division, to having a separate entity, yeah. which now doesn't filter down properly into yeah. the rest of our league, which made this country amazing. So I think there'll be there'll be stuff lame from the last time this happened where people kind of, there was more power. I don't think it'll happen. Do you don't, but for me, I, again, I didn't think technology was going to be a thing. I did, you didn't, the Premier League no, took th- all this stuff. It feels, whether it's a European Super League or whether it is oh, no, those I think super, splits. Sorry, I think a Super League could happen. I don't think, I don't yeah. think, I don't see. 14 teams go. I don't see teams like West Ham if we've got, you know, yeah. them and people like that going, well, yeah, all right, we'll let the other six get away from us again. Yeah. I just don't see yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Just like you might find that those little band be- be- below who say, well, if it's based on our performance and it's based on how many games are sold and it's based on just we're only a hop, skip, and a jump away. If we're finishing seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So, what's the maybe you, you might be able to say you might be able to convince a few more who might think. A couple of if the I money's so disparate, a season or two up there would make it more of a difference. The difference between seventh and sixth all of a sudden becomes so much bigger that a punt to get into sixth could make a difference. A real, you know. But anyway, we're never gonna, we're never gonna know. What, yeah, We've got loads of money, I'd be interested to see it, and I'd be obviously interested to know, <laughs> to know people's thoughts. Actually, you know, would you like to see that as as a split? Would you like to see the Premier League follow more of what what La Liga has done? Well, that already the money happens, goes to the bit yeah. goes to the biggest. Well, you know that we we've had a good chat on it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't say anymore. <laughs> yeah. Let us know your thoughts. Then you know, and and who would you class? Also, what do you, who would you class as the big six? And do you think that would be the end of the Premier League as we know it, or some alternatives that you th- you foresee might happen to to change things, whether it's a European Super League or whatever? Um, Everton. Chat, transfers, click there, watch it. Fantastic for the latest on Romelu Lukaku for the players who are coming in. Ross Barkley, one he might be able to bring to Spurs, partner in Delhi Alley, or would he stay at Everton? Fantastic chat. Subscribe to Toffee TV, Ball Street, and watch more phenomenal content this summer. <laughs>